The four recipients are all children of parents who work within the education sector and who were successful at the Caribbean Primary Exit Assessment CPEA exams in 2022. It's a continuation of a partnership spanning over a decade of providing educational assistance to worthy students. As part of the full scholarship, students receive the cash donation, a laptop, and a cell phone from Digicel. Digicel's representative, Kizi Aurelia, says, For the telecommunications company, it's an opportunity to give back whilst at the same time contributing to the growth of the nation through its younger generation. We at Digicel, again, we want to thank the ministry for actually allowing us um, to be part of this um, and to extend a hand. It's just the tiniest assistance that we are providing to the students in their educational journey. And um, we would like to implore the students to continue working hard, use the items that they receive today to help make their, their educational um, journey a little bit easier, a little, and to also make themselves proud. Minister with Responsibility for Education, Honorable Sean Edward, whilst thanking Digicel for its continued contribution to the education sector, also impressed on scholarship recipients the importance of making full use of the opportunity provided by maintaining their grades throughout their education at their respective secondary schools. I want to, on behalf of the staff of the Ministry of Education and by extension the government, thank Digicel immensely for this gesture. Now, students, you are being given a gift. You're not paying for it. Your parents don't have to push their hands in their pockets to get money to actually pay for this. You have been rewarded for your effort. When you are given a gift, it is important that you care for it. It is important that you show appreciation for it. Parliamentary Secretary Senator Honorable Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, also present at the activity, commended students on being selected for the Digicel Scholarship and encouraged them to maintain their motivation acquired from the primary level. I implore you to continue to work hard. Um, some of you may feel burnt out from primary school, but it's a different challenge at secondary school. And you have to put more time. I know you would have realized that you are not nurtured as much as you were nurtured at the primary school, that you have to do a lot on your own. The four recipients are namely Amara Kodra of the St. Joseph's Convent, Kashari Okili of the Leon Hess Comprehensive, Liam Primus of the Corum Secondary, and Kishon Jackson of the Patricia D. James Secondary. Recipients must maintain their grades in order to be considered for continuation of the scholarship through their progression at the secondary level. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.